Hello, children. Be honest, did you miss math? I miss coding. And I promise today we'll do math, coding, and even painting. No way. Yes. And let's start by analyze those pictures. What do they have in common? I know, I know. In each of these pictures, you can see circles. Very good. And if we take a look even closer, we can see that each circle has a center. And from the center of the bike's wheel starts spokes. They are equal and connect the center with the circle. And in math, we call them radius. How many radii do you think fit in a circle? Hundreds. Thousands. Hundreds, thousands, millions. In fact, between two points, no matter how close together, you can fit an infinity of other points. So we have an infinity of radii in a circle. Mister, mister, I understand what a radius is, but what do we call this longer segment that passes through the center and connects these points of the circle together? That's a very good question. Let's see the next slide. This is the diameter of the circle. It is twice the length of the radius. Let's say that the radius has 5 centimeters. What will be the length of the diameter? Double, that is 10. Let's take a look at the spin module and joint module. Notice that the spin motor form a complete circle while the robotic arm motor can form a semicircle. So one rotates 360 degrees and the other only 180 degrees. Now, one team will program the spin to rotate continuously and the other team will program the joint to move up and down. Okay? It's too easy. This is just the beginning. Are you ready? Let's see what you've done. I will project your screen to this interactive display and I will see first team on the left side and second team on the right side. Very good here, repeat forever block is necessary for the spin to rotate and I'm really impressed about how you play with the angle for the joint module. That's very good. Now, what if we put these two programs together? We have a spin, we have a pot, we connect them and we have this plate and what we have wow. here. Wow! In the past we used clay to create these pots using different techniques and place the pot at 1000 degree oven. But now it's more simple. We are using 3D filament and with just one simple click on a 3D printer, we have the pot ready. It spins like the spin we use. Yes, you're right. And now let's take the joint model. One more component. We can attach a special accessory for painting. <laughs> I love these types of math lessons. You look like Rudolf. <laughs> yes, yes, and I'm very glad that you are having so much fun during this class. 